Hi traders and welcome to another great day for me and I'm going to say what is the best tip I ever gave to everyone to every trader that asked me how to be a good day trader the same tip so let's start with Airbnb I talked about Airbnb also yesterday I talked about Airbnb yesterday when Mayor shorted it and I said Airbnb is going to bounce it's going to bounce Fresh IPO touched the 164, moved lower to 125, 24. It's going to bounce. It's going to bounce soon. Okay, we have the Fed right now. But let's continue speaking about today's trades. So I took Airbnb above one minute chart. And why is that? Because the daily chart. The stock is extended to the downside, so maybe today it will bounce. Very bad trade management. I took my first target after two points. Okay, one one dollar and thirty cents stop loss above the first minute, stop below the first minute. I took my first target after two points, a little bit more, and then I waited, 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 and placed my stop loss under this support, one thirty-two forty. Stock moved up, stopped me out on few cents, one thirty-two thirty-eight. Stopped me out and moved up another ten points almost. Even though I made $2,000 in Airbnb, I could have made much more in Airbnb. So my first trade was Airbnb. Then I took space again. Bad trade management. I took space above 25.10. I said in the room also, space is extremely extended to the downside. Just touched the 50 EMA. Maybe it will bounce so I waited, okay, I saw it moved higher, took it above 25.10, first entry, then I added above 25.30 here, took my first target 25.80, only first target, then I moved my stop loss to my entry, it was 25.29 after I added, and even less, 26, something like that, and then I stopped out 25.20, 22 and the stock moved from 25 20 to 26 26 90 almost very bad trade management I closed everything here I should have waited a little longer and then placed my stop loss then I took RKT no let's start with Twitter then I took Twitter Twitter, very bad trade management in Twitter. I stopped out twice in Twitter. First time I shorted it under 55, got me in. I added, stopped out, $1,200 loss. Then I shorted Twitter again under 55.40, got me in, stopped out. And after all, Twitter moved lower. You can see the daily chart now is red. I needed to wait longer in Twitter to see the pullback to place my stop loss. In my extended strategy, I need to wait for a pullback and then to place my stop loss, which could help me here. Okay, so I lost uh, twice in Twitter. That's why you can see I'm down uh, 1600 almost in Twitter. And we talked about Airbnb, we talked about Twitter, and we talked about space. Now let's talk about RKT. Ah, oh, come on, RKT. Unbelievable. I took RKT above 22.40 only because of the daily chart. Again, daily chart, daily chart, daily chart. This is the headline for this video. Daily chart, daily chart, daily chart. I took it above 22.40, stopped out a $900 loss, and now it's doing exactly what I thought it will do. This 23 is beautiful trigger in a daily chart. So I stopped out here in the RKT with a loss. Then I took DKNG, now all time high. And I took it because of it daily chart. Stock jump from the 50 MA, moving sideways with three days with nothing happened, and then today. I saw today big jump at the opening. I waited 
I don't need to be impulsive, I waited and then I took it above 51 with 25 cent stop loss. And then, not like in Airbnb, not like in space, I waited. I took my first target after 25 cent stop loss. First target, 51.50. Second target, 52. And I'm still, I took another small part, 52.50, and I'm still there with small share size. Exactly the same in Jumia. I took J JMIA. I took it above, that was in 5 minute chart I took it here 37.80 not the best reversal you ever saw but I took it because of it daily chart stock touch few weeks ago 40.90 move down touch 40.78 move down and I said in the room few days ago the 41 is inevitable the stock must move above 41 because it touched 40, 90, 40, 80. Next target will be above and we can see a cup and and then. So I took it above here, 37, 80. Took my first target after one to two. Took it with 40 cent stop loss. Then I took my first target after 80. Then I took another target when it touched 39, 40, no, 60, my second target. And I'm still here. I'm still there in, in a, a JMIA and DKNG. I waited because I stopped out in, in, a, in Airbnb and space sooner than I should have. So you can see that I'm still in DKNG and JMIA. I will post in Instagram my final PNL for today. So that's it guys, if there is one thing I can tell you from this recap video is trade the daily chart. You know, I, uh, I have a student that is a swing trader and he told me I want to be a day trader, what I need to do to become a successful day trader. So I told him, listen, you just need to find a good swing, a good swings trades and then you need to take the daily chart, when you like, like JMIA for example. And then if you think the stock like JMA should move above 41 in your swing trade, then try to look for opportunity intraday to take it for a long. Only because the daily chart is supporting your idea. And I can tell you that I've been teaching stock trading for the last six years, a little bit more, six years. Only on the last three years, I've been saying every lesson that I make. Always watch the daily chart. Day trading, it's crazy. Want to trade on five minutes, on candles of five minutes? That's crazy. Open the daily chart, look for some good opportunities, and then zoom in to five minute chart and try to, to find a good opportunity to join the trend in the daily chart. That's it. That's all the secret, guys. That's it. From now on, you can be a successful day trader because you need to understand no one cares about the intraday chart. Five minute chart? Are you trading five minute chart? This is crazy. Open the daily chart. Think what will be the next move of this stock. And then you'll be able to trade it in intraday. If you'll see all my trades today, A, B, and B extended to the downside. Space extended to the downside. RKT, beautiful daily chart. Twitter, extended to the upside. The trade worked, but I lost money in Twitter. Uh, DKNG, moving sideways, but very strong and uptrend in stock. So I took it for a long. And the last one, Jumia. Beautiful daily chart. That's why I took it for intraday today. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. If you like this video, please subscribe and that's it. Two very good days and it's very good in this December. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.